The economy could improve if more affordable child care were available. That is the finding of the organization Children at Risk. Thanks for joining us, everyone. Mayor Ginger Nelson was part of the conversation as the Children at Risk organization made its first stop on a nine city tour. They're advocating for better, more affordable child care and access to quality childhood education in Texas. KMR Local 4's Kaylee Green joins us live now in the studio with more. That is our top story from your local election headquarters. Andy, Texas controller Glenn Hagar says a financially secure Texas depends on financially successful women. But according to Children at Risk, the majority of working women living with young children in the Amarillo area struggle to afford child care. Children at Risk says the future workforce may be in jeopardy as children under the age of six with low income working parents who don't have access to affordable quality child care is at 91% in Potter County and 99% in Randall County. Children at Risk's report also shows the breakdown in early education is affecting the third grade reading level in our area, meaning students are not prepared for success. That's why they have specific recommendations for local leaders, such as increasing the number of child care providers certified through Texas Rising Star, building a path towards school readiness, and ensuring child care teachers are sufficiently trained and compensated. We're talking about productive solutions. The best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago, but the second best time to plant a tree is today. So if, if we recognize that this is something we need to work on in our community, we need to start a community-wide conversation about it today. While the Texas Workforce Commission provides assistance and allows access to child care programs for low-income families, Children at Risk says parts of our region still qualify as a child care desert, meaning there aren't enough subsidized seats for low-income children. Children at Risk says communication between the Texas Workforce Communication and the Texas Education Agency, both funded by taxpayer dollars, needs to improve to provide affordable child care and early education to in turn impact the future of our workforce. Live in studio, Kaylee Green, KMR Local. Andy. Kaylee, thank you. Mayor Nelson says these are important issues for our local economy and she is working on next steps to address them. For more information on the links between early education and affordable child care in the economy, go to our website, myhighplains.com. The city of